All right, hello there. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new to this series, I promise this video was going to be a fun one. Uh, but today, getting into the holiday spirit, what is better than looking at a whole bunch of disgusting, downright awful aquariums? Exactly, nothing. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. If you have not seen parts one through like eight or seven, I don't know, of this series, definitely check those out. We went through a lot of nasty, gross, just overall horrible aquariums. I sometimes ask myself, how could it get this bad? And then I realize it can get worse. Um, so I have a whole bunch of pictures I went ahead and curated for us today, and we are just going to be running through them, reacting to them, and obviously I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below, but without further ado, let's pull up the first picture. So starting off strong, or starting off not so strong, I guess it should say, this is a fishbowl, um, which we already know is bad. There looks to be a very, very pale beta fish in there, but besides the obvious uh, water line, the gross fake plants, there's also two golf balls down there, a pink and a green golf ball. <laughs> no. I mean, golf balls might be cool looking, but they're just not suitable fish tank decor. They provide the fish with no spot to hide, not really any enrichment. There's really no, no point for them, honestly. But if that wasn't an issue enough, the bowl is only filled halfway full of water. This is like a quarter of a gallon. We all know beta fish cannot live in tanks this small. We're probably going to repeat it a lot in this video, but Really? Tank size, come on. You can do better. Now we just missed Black Friday by a hair, but this screenshot is from OfferUp, and it's a Black Friday deal, a doorbuster, if you will. Um, for only $50, originally $200, but on sale for $50, you can get this tiny little tank, looks to be about a half a gallon, um, with a blue betta fish, a catfish, it looks like a green quarry cat, but it also is a little distorted, so it might just be a generic catfish. It might not be a quarry at all. I can't really tell. But also a roseland shark. So a roseland shark, some sort of catfish, and a blue baited fish for the low price of $50. I don't even know what to say about that. First of all, not sure why these fish are housed together. Not sure why they're in a tank this small. No filter, no heater. For the most part, these are tropical fish. Don't know about the catfish. Um, but $50? You could go to Petco and buy like all these fish for like under 20 bucks just from the store. Not sure what's really going on here to be honest. This next tank looks to be about a 10 gallon aquarium, but ugh, talk about overstocked. This water is disgusting. There's like 12 goldfish in here. Um, but even more concerning, there's no trim on the aquarium. So the black trim that's normally around the base of an aquarium is basically used to kind of absorb the stress from the stand the tank is sitting on. If you just have a bare bottom rimless aquarium, you need some sort of cushioning mat under it, or else the tiniest like little bit of sand or a piece of gravel could get under there between the stand and the glass pane on the bottom and could cause your tank to crack. So I guess someone removed the bottom brace on this aquarium, the bottom rim, not sure why, um, and just set it on this tiny little table that barely looks like it can hold the weight of this tank. So our stand is gross, okay? The tank could crack, okay? It's overstocked and the water looks disgusting. This is like a complete teardown. Like, I don't think there's anything else that could go wrong here. I think they really hit the nail on the head and did everything possibly wrong in this scenario. Unfortunately, when you take a look at this tank right here, it doesn't look that good, but considering the last tanks we've looked at, this is an upgrade for sure. I don't know why there's four inches of gravel in this tank. That's a little excessive, but okay. Um, The water level's also really low, so there's like, four gallons of water for these fish out of like a total 10 gallon tank. Not sure what the deal with that is. We have two very large fancy goldfish. Fancy goldfish, as I'm sure all of you know, need larger aquariums than this. Powerful filtration and not 10 gallons. Um, there's also quite a bit of controversy when it comes to keeping goldfish on gravel. Uh, I guess some people in the past have had their goldfish choke on the gravel because goldfish like to sift through the bottom. Um, so it's generally recommended to stay away from gravel. I personally haven't had that issue but I guess it's a thing. And actually, I lied. I totally lied. There's not two goldfish in here. I just looked a little bit deeper at this picture. There's four of them. There's four goldfish. One per gallon, if you will. And these are big goldfish too. I don't really know what to say about that. Honestly, the tank is remarkably clean for this many fish. It must be a new setup, which is Honestly, even worse. I guess while we're on the topic of bad aquarium stands, this one probably takes the cake, honestly, because it's not on a stand at all. This very large aquarium, it looks to be over 55 gallons, it almost looks like a 125, but I cannot quite be sure, is sitting on top of another tank, like a tub, like a cattle trough. Um, 
as a stand. Now these tubs are very sturdy, but I don't think they're sturdy enough to hold an aquarium of this caliber on top of them. Uh, let alone the electrical hazard on top of this tank. There's cords everywhere. There's clutter everywhere. The tank looks fine for the most part. It's filled up all the way. There's some air stones, some goldfish. It really doesn't look too bad. It's the surroundings that are the problem here. I mean, there's like a flashlight, a Wi-Fi router looking thing. That actually might be an air pump, but I'm going to call it a Wi-Fi router. Um, and just a whole bunch of cords and just mess. Like, oof. This would give me anxiety that this tank would crash down in the middle of the night. Like, how could you sleep knowing this was in your house? I don't know. And now, last but not least, we have this arowana, um, skeleton of an arowana. This fish, I thought was dead at first, but it's not. In this bare bones, 72-ish gallon bowfront aquarium. Unfortunately, this fish has a pretty bad case of drop-by, which is where an arowana, they develop like a tissue behind their eye that basically makes their eye go from this to this, like looking down. As you can see, this fish looks really rough. It looks like it's been through it. I'm sure it's pretty old. But this is just not really a suitable habitat for this fish. They need bigger aquariums. This fish probably isn't getting the right diet based off of that nutrition deficiency we got going on here. So this is honestly just more of an example of owner neglect rather than a bad aquarium. This tank has potential, maybe not for a three foot long arowana, you know? This would be a great angelfish tank or a goldfish tank. But Arowana definitely need bigger aquariums, and this really just isn't cutting it. That was a lot, but that is also going to be it for today's video. We went through a ton of aquariums. I know, I can only look at so many of these at a time before the anger just builds up. No, I'm kidding. But if you guys like this series, I will totally be down to continue to do it. Just let me know down in the comments below. If you have any thoughts on these aquariums, I'm sure a lot of you have your very strong opinions. I would love to hear them. We can roast these guys together. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and good bye.